Santa Claus. I need cookies and milk for him. I like Christmas presents. I like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I like Christmas presents. <laughs> Long time before Santa Claus got in his sleigh to ride. A long time before Rudolph got his nose. There's another Christmas story. Little children ought to know. Three kings came a travel a long, long time ago. the sky led them to a little town below inside a humble stable with the bright star overhead a tiny king was sleeping with no crib for a bed the libraries and that they traveled Us better than we are. Kings of old rejoiced and began to sing. Christ our Savior was born then to set us free. friends. This is our special Christmas card to you, the supporters of the ministry, and I've taken the liberty of sending you a picture of my family, taken on the occasion of my eldest daughter's wedding. Bruce Stacy, her husband, has written the song that is on the other side of this record, and together with my daughter Elaine, they blend their voices in song. I'm sincerely praying that this will be the most beautiful Christmas that you have ever had. I'm in a reflective mood right now, and it happens to me every year like this. Christmas memories flood my mind. While I was a little fellow, I spent six Christmases without my dad. He was in Egypt as a missionary, and because of the war, he couldn't come home to us, and we couldn't go to him. We had very little money. In fact, the decorations on our Christmas tree consisted of popcorn that we would pop, string together on a thread, and wrap around the tree. <laughs> One of the biggest pleasures of all was to be able to eat that popcorn the day after Christmas. Of course, there was the big gift box that we received each year from the ladies' group at the Fifth Avenue Church. Even without Dad, these are happy memories. The Christmas I remember most of all was when I was 12. We celebrated it in my mother's room at the Ottawa Civic Hospital. We knew that mother was not expected to live, and in fact, three weeks after Christmas was over, she went home to be with her Lord. But in that hospital bed, mother sat up, her hair fixed, and looked just beautiful to us. Dad, as usual, read the scripture of the Christmas story, and we opened our gifts. We had a happy Christmas regardless of the circumstances. That's the way it ought to be, because when God gave us the gift of His Son, Jesus Christ, He gave us what the Bible calls 
joy unspeakable and full of glory. Is it any wonder the angels over the hills of Judea sang, Glory be to God in the highest? Oh, such a happy time of rejoicing. The shepherds and wise men who came to worship the baby Jesus must have felt the same joy that we felt that day in the hospital room. We knew this Christ child had opened up the way, so the greatest Christmas gift, what the Bible calls the gift of God, eternal life through Jesus Christ, could be ours. I've received this gift, and I trust you have too. Oh, what a marvelous, happy message we have. We can celebrate Christmas all year long. What a wonderful, big family we belong to. We celebrate with joy the first coming of the only begotten Son of our Father. Can you imagine what the celebration of His second coming is going to be like? I pray that you will experience the most wonderful, joyous Christmas that you and yours have ever had. May God bless and keep you in His love and by His power is my sincere prayer.